Hey everybody, welcome to the Frontier Purpose channel. My name is Billy and today we're going to be talking about should you be preserving your wealth more or should you be buying more preps? Let's talk about that. But before we do that, if you don't mind, check our content, see if you like it. If you do like it, consider subscribing, sharing our videos, liking our videos, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. It does let you know when we post new content. Without further ado, let's discuss. All right, everybody. I know for a fact that a lot of you are already typing, saying, oh, you got to get more prep. Forget about conserving your wealth, blah, 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 blah. Oh, forget about more preps. Just get more gold and silver and forget about everything else, blah, 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 blah. Hold on a second. Hold on, y'all. Before you start jumping into the keyboard warrior mindset, let's talk about this. Let me ask you this. Do you have a family? Do you have enough preps put away to your satisfaction? Do you have enough gold and silver put away for that family to live off once you're gone? These are questions that I asked Mrs. D the other day, that Mrs. D and I discuss on a daily basis. And why? Well, obviously, you guys don't know everything that we have because, quite frankly, it is not okay for us to show the world what we have. You guys can see the tip of the, tip of the iceberg, if you're willing uh, to say it. But you guys are seeing the you guys are seeing the tip of the iceberg. That's pretty much it. Now we do have a property that we own, ours until the government decides to take it away. I know, I know. But we are comfortable right now with the preps that we have. We are comfortable. We have put away enough uh, food, if you will. Uh, we are working in the garden for next year. Um, now, now, since you have that, or let's say, for example, we have that. Should we consider, well, let's just fill the gap when uh, whatever prep we use, continue to do that, and focus more on conserving wealth, meaning that every single dollar should be transferred to gold and silver, and that will be it, or, or land, because land is not being made anymore, we have what we have and that's it now one can also make the uh, argument well Billy there's always room to buy more there's uh, there's the imminent issue that we may face in SHTF tomorrow and if you don't have more than what you have right now you will be in trouble valid point but how about if it never happens have you ever thought about that? If it never happens and all you have are preps, what are you leaving your family with? Preps? Okay. Valid point. They're going to be able to use it. They're going to eat it. They're going to shoot it. They're going to... Whatever they're going to do it. But they're going to spend it. Or, you know, it's going to be gone in a few years however <clears throat> let's let's also think about the fact that an SHTF may never happen flat out truth we all prepare for it but we all hope it never happened some folks do want it to happen I do not want it to happen to tell the truth I know it's coming but I don't want it to happen If you don't leave behind something tangible for your kids to go on and for your kids to add on to that, you will never create any generational wealth. That is a fact. I have encountered many, many folks and uh, I can tell you right now and unfortunately in, in my culture 
in the, in the Cuban culture, I heard this the most. Let them deal with that themselves. What I have is mine and I'm going to spend it all and screw everybody. This is what I work for. You want it, you work for it. I will say that I do not agree with that. I do not agree with that because that to me is very selfish. To me, now I am speaking in my behalf only. And of course, Mrs. D. Uh, but us, the way that we see it is that we have to leave behind as much as we can, wealth-wise. Whether it's in gold, whether it's in silver, whether it's in fiat currency. Don't bite me off. That is the currency that we have right now. If it was pesos, it would have been pesos. If there would have been, uh, I don't know, the Chinese uh, currency, it would be the Chinese currency. Don't buy me off. That is the legal tender that we use. I know it's fiat currency. I know I know all of that. But, yeah, that's what I would do. But, the other thing is land. How much land can I leave behind for less? During our hunting trip, I had a conversation with Les. And uh, that conversation was also in the educational part. And I was like, Les, uh, everything that we have is yours. And what we would love for you to do is increase what we are leaving you. Try to double it. That way, when you pass it on to your kids, they can do the same. And they can be done the same over and over and over. And hopefully, in a few generations, you guys can be wealthy money-wise you are very wealthy because we value family about above anything else but consider money wealth because that is something that you also have to consider now this is me talking with a nine-year-old and some of you might actually say well billy that is not a conversation that you want to have with a nine-year-old well i disagree because if you teach them early they learn faster and this in here, my son knows that this property is his. My son knows that when we get uh, more property, it will be his. My son knows that whatever money we have, it is his. Because it's not ours, it is the family's. He also knows that all the preps that we have... It's for his benefit that he have to maintain those preps because without it, if something does happen, it don't really matter how much gold and silver you have and how much land you have. Quite frankly, you will be depending more on those preps than anything else because that is the truth of the reality. At the very beginning of an SHTF, gold and silver will mean nothing. Later on, that's the difference. Later on, land will be key. But at the very beginning, it won't really matter. Preps are, is what really matter. So when you hear folks saying, just focus on buying things, buying preps. Don't worry about gold and silver right now. And when you hear folks saying, buy gold and silver, forget about preps. Listen, it has to be a balance. There have to be a balance between both. Don't neglect one. Obviously, I'm going to tell you that try to have as much food as you can on hand because something does happen right now. It is a short term. Having gold, silver, and properties, that is long term. That is once the SHTF happens, everything gets back to normal. Then instead of you being part of the masses, you're not part of the masses anymore. You are up here, higher than other folks. Because you conserve, you put your wealth away in a way that nobody can touch it. You see what I'm saying? But but before we, you get to that point, you have to go on with everybody else. And that is where your preps will come handy. So, 
let me know what you think let me know if you should be thinking only about preps or you should be only be thinking about conserving your wealth let me know down in the comment section below like i always rock on and i will see you in the next one bye bye everybody